Shalom, beloved. A word. A few days ago, I was downstairs early in the morning, and I was praying and communing with the Most High. And I had a vision of a sheep just standing in front of me, a sheep. And so I thought on it and thought on it, and I was trying to get what the Most High was telling me or showing me. But as time progressed, a lot of different things, as I looked into it, came to me. And so, a word. The sheep. There are many images of Yeshua HaMashiach, many call him Jesus. And we see him carrying the baby sheep or a sheep on his shoulders while the other sheep are traveling alongside him. He has his rod and his staff in his hand. What a lot of people don't know about that picture that they're looking at is the reason the shepherd is carrying that sheep. Some sheep have a tendency to stray. And shepherds often had to discipline lambs that would stray from their shepherd. The shepherd would use his rod to break the leg of a wandering lamb. After binding the break, the shepherd would carry the lamb on his shoulders. There's that picture. While the wound healed. If the lamb struggled and fought, it would quickly realize that the broken leg would not allow it to flee. The lamb learned during the healing process that the shepherd could be trusted. He needed to depend on the shepherd to provide food, transportation, and protection because he could not flee. That's the picture you see of Yeshua HaMashiach carrying that lamb. Many people would say, why would a shepherd break the, the legs of his lamb? But you see, many people, in order to be saved by the Most High, they have to be slowed down. Because many people want to do things their way while walking with the Lord. They get very independent minded. But Hebrews 12, 6 tells us the Lord disciplines the one he loves. He disciplines the one he loves and chastises every son whom he receives. It's far better coming from the analogy of the shepherd with the sheep on his back to break his legs than to allow him to lose his life. The leg will heal. But once he's gone, there is no saving him again. So anything, when you see that picture, it's telling you a story, okay, of our dependence and need for the Most High to keep us, to protect us, to carry us on our way, and sometimes to keep us from harming ourselves as well as others, from harming ourselves. Because in our innocent ignorance, we can be fleeing on a road to destruction and not know it. But again, when you look at the covenant that God made with David, the Lord and the Lord said of Solomon, I will be a father to him, and he shall be to me a son. When he commits iniquity, I will discipline him with the rod of men, with the stripes of the sons of men. So we know that that discipline is not meant to destroy you, but to save you. He even shows us, and this is the good shepherd, He's carrying him, all right? As a matter of fact, 
We know the word said, blessed is the one you discipline, Lord, the one you teach your law. So actually, when you're being disciplined, you're not being treated like a slave. You're not being treated like a stranger. You're being treated like a child of the Most High God, the Most High Yah. And the psalmist goes on to say that in faithfulness, you have afflicted me. Some of us need slowing down, beloved. Finally, Psalm 119, verse 75, for surely the Lord disciplines those he loves as a father, the son he delights in. Forgive me, that's Proverbs 3.12. The Lord disciplines those he loves as a father, the son he delights in. That shepherd is carrying that sheep, but he had to break his leg to get him where he could protect him, feed him, and carry him where he needed to go to keep him from straying from the flock. One of the other characteristics about a sheep, beloved, they have little to no means of self-defense. That rod the shepherd carries, he beats back enemies, anything that tries to attack that sheep. David, King David was a shepherd as a youth. And he described his use of the rod to King Saul. Your servant used to keep sheep for my, his father. And when there came a lion or a bear and took a lamb from the flock, I went after him and struck him. And delivered it out of his mouth. If he arose against me, I caught him by his beard and struck him and killed him. That's first Samuel in the seventeenth chapter. All right. One of the other things when you think of the shepherd's rod, Proverbs thirteen twenty four, whosoever spares his the rod hates his son. But he who loves him is diligent to discipline him. The shepherd is carrying that sheep. He had to break his leg because he kept trying to wander. Some of us, beloved, are going down paths or have tried to go down paths that would lead to our destruction. And in order to keep us safe from ourselves, the Most High had to slow us down. Now, again, when you look at the shepherd and the sheep, that can be figurative or literal. Figuratively, it may be that we got a flat tire. We were going to go somewhere. And unbeknownst to us, we would have never returned. But that flat tire, our leg was broken. The car won't start. We missed the bus. We can't find our money. Flat tire, broken leg. We cannot travel. He is disciplining us. And in our torment of not being able to get where we needed to go, we end up depending on the most high. I don't know what I'm going to do, Lord. I'm late for work. This, that, and other words, a job you should have never taken, and you knew that. You're going out there to deal some drugs, and, well, I got to get this money, not that money, because that's the money they're going to end up using to bury you with. So he breaks your legs below. To save you. Now, because you don't have that money, you become dependent on him. Some people, and they are children of the Most High, but we cannot sit and pretend everything everybody does is perfect. And so he disciplines us to bring us back into that fold, to protect us. He's got a rod and he's got a staff. The staff has a hook on it. And that's to grab the sheep around the neck, to pull them back in. Some of us need redirecting. He also guides us as we go with the end of the staff, gently thy rod and thy staff. They comfort you because you know he's there. You know he cares. Any son that a father loves, he disciplines, beloved. One more thing about the sheep. 
about the sheep. They have little to no means of self-defense. They can only run. They're easily killed by enemies and easily cast. That is flipped over on their back. They can easily fall over on their back. But here's something funny about sheep when they're easily cast or flipped over on their back. They are unable to right themselves. They can't get back up straight and will die of starvation if not turned over by their shepherds. Mm, they're helpless. Many of us fall, and if it isn't for the merciful love and guidance of the Word of God, His Spirit, that fall would be our last fall because we don't always know how to get back up. Sometimes the fall can seem like it's our destruction, beloved, it's over. We don't know how to fix that situation. But that does not mean Yahoo it doesn't. What's impossible for us, with him, all things are possible. And understand from the position of the sheep, it's impossible for him, her, the sheep, to get back up on their feet right. They're stuck. And if they stay there without the merciful grace of Yahuwah and his shepherd, Yeshua HaMashiach, that word, they will starve to death. They will die. But because that shepherd is there, he's that good shepherd. He turns that sheep back over, sets them back on their feet, and sends them on their way. Many of us, beloved, are going through, and sometimes we think it's strange what we're going through, but either we've fallen, and by ourselves we cannot get up, but it's not over. The shepherd's there, turning you back on your feet and guiding you along your way, keeping you safe, keeping watch over you. And those of you who he had to carry, because something in you is broken. He may have broken it just like the shepherd breaks the leg of the lamb to keep it from straying. He keeps trying to keep it in. The little thing want to run off whichever way it want to go, no matter what it say or do. This thing, every time I turn around, you're there, you're here. I know what to do with you. Crack. He binds it up and puts him on his back. He doesn't leave him, doesn't make him limp. He carries wild hills. And that lamb begins to realize you love me. You didn't do this to harm me. You did it to save me from my crazy self. Many of us, who, if it was not for the Lord on my side, where would I be? Where would I be? Where would I be? By all rights, I shouldn't even be here. Sometimes unseen dangers, he gets our rear guard, our, our back. That's what the word tells us. We go into places angels can fear to tread. And we walk in boldly and the Lord got to be there first. Like, I got to turn you around. I got to break your leg and put you on my shoulders to keep you from harming yourself. But that's love, beloved. So... If you've fallen and you feel like you can't get up, the shepherd's there, and he's going to turn you back over. He's going to set you right. Below. Sometimes we go through things, and again, we don't always understand. We don't always understand why. We don't always have the right answers. But you see, there's another thing. When we go astray and we don't listen, if we get out of that flock, he loves us so much. We see where the Most High says, the Lord has broken the staff of the wicked, the scepter of the ruler. We're in Exodus Chapter 14. He's broken the staff of the wicked. We're in a system 
where the wicked want to tell us what to do and guide us and hurt us up. And uh, I think we went through an entire year of hurting. Stay in the house. Don't come in. Don't go out. Do this. Do that. You're just guiding us along the way like you're blind. You don't know which nothing. And you're just telling you what all types of things. But the most high comes. Yes, he does. The Lord has broken the staff of the wicked. The scepter of the rulers. Because thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. That's a rod of love. That's a rod of protection. And that's a staff that guides us and keeps us moving in the right direction, catches us that hook. It'll get us around the neck and pull us over. Sometimes we're just not paying attention and the Lord has to guide us. Sheep, beloved. The nature of a sheep. And again, if a sheep falls on its back, it cannot turn itself over to get back up on its feet. And if it's not for the shepherd turning it back over, that sheep will die right where it is at. Many of us, when everything is going all right, sometimes we have a tendency to go our own way. And no matter what somebody tells us, we won't listen. We being stubborn and hard-headed. And that's about the time that break comes. So, beloved, don't think it's strange if things aren't necessarily going the way you want it to. As a matter of fact, when you think about that staff, Micah talked about it. Chapter 7, verse 14. Shepherd your people with your staff, the flock of your inheritance, who dwell alone in a forest in the midst of a garden land. Shepherd your people with your staff. Guide us. Keep us. Beloved, we all need, we all need protection and guidance. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. I know if an enemy comes, you're going to wear him out with that rod. I know if I lose my way and start wandering, as long as I'm willing to listen, I'll feel that gentle nudge with your staff. Yes, Father, let your staff guide us. And before we go headlong into destruction, if he has to break our leg to keep us and carry us and protect us, to feed us, to make us dependent on him, because in reality we are, our life is dependent on him. There are wolves waiting to see us stray, beloved. They're waiting. But he knows that. And he's not going to let those wolves have you. No, he won't. And to keep you safe, not only does he break it, immediately he binds your leg, puts you on his shoulders, and carries you. That's love. That's love. Some people, if your hard head won't listen, they'll throw you to the wolves. That's what they say. Just throw them to the wolves. They're talking about those sheep. But that's the good shepherd. Beloved, a word. Shalom.